fantastic nerd. I'm here at London Film Comic Con with one of the cosplay guests and judges. Supreme Outcast Cosplay. Yeah, and who are you cosplaying today? Today I'm cosplaying Dante from Devil May Cry 5. And why did you pick this particular outfit? Uh, to wear today or just to cosplay in general? Just to cosplay in general. Uh, to cosplay in general, uh, I just really like the character. I like the visual style of the way he looks. I like being able to sort of weather clothing and sort of rough it up and make it look a bit like it's beaten and worn. And his look in this game kind of has that sort of appearance. And he's also just a really fun character. Yeah. And obviously yourself being a very popular cosplayer, uh, what set you on this path to become where you are now? Well, I got into cosplay originally because I just attended a convention because I found the concept really interesting and then just saw other people cosplaying and thought I wanted to get in on that. And then I just started teaching myself how to sort of make costumes and how to you know, make props and armor through watching people on YouTube and seeing what other cosplayers had done and just kind of went from there really. And over the 10 years I've been doing it, I just started expanding my skill set. Um, on this path, have you, any, have you faced any difficulties? Yeah. On this path, have you faced any difficulties or plot holes in the way? Yeah, definitely. I think because I've been self-teaching myself, there have been a lot of times where I've not gotten the hang of techniques properly and I've become quite disheartened by it. I think when you're trying to do something over and over again and you keep getting it wrong, sometimes it can be quite demotivating. Yeah. Um, when I first started teaching myself how to make chain mail for my Geralt of Rivia cosplay, it took me about two weeks of trying every night after work before I got the hang of being able to do like a basic kind of join. And yeah, there were quite a few times where I kind of gave up through the cosplay across the room, had a bit of a strop over it. But then when I actually did get the hang of it, then it was really satisfying. But yeah, I think pretty much every outfit that I've made and every prop I've made, there's been at least one stage where it's gone completely wrong and I've just gotten really fed up with it. So yeah, definitely lots of challenges. So it goes wrong, it's all part of the course then? Yeah, I think when you're starting out with this kind of stuff, it's important not to be afraid to fail because when you start out, especially you are, it is going to be a lot of trial and error and you are going to make a lot of mistakes. And you know, I've been doing this for 10 years and I still make mistakes with everything I make. In that 10 years, what highlights would you say you have seen? I think for me, what, a lot of the highlights have been around the social side of it. So I've gotten to know some really great people through this hobby. I've gotten to make some really good friends, both you know, other cosplayers and photographers. And I think that's really been the highlight for me. And you know, I've done competitions and won some competitions and that's a really good feeling as well. That's a really nice self-esteem boost. But I think you know, the social element of it and having like-minded friends who back you up and kind of help pick you up as well when everything's going a bit wrong, that's really valuable to me. And at what point would you say you realized that you were a famous cosplayer? Uh, I think probably when I got the invitation to this event. Um, the one the, right now? Yeah, the one that I'm at now. Um, because I've guested at a couple of other conventions, but, which was really good fun, but they were smaller ones. And I think you know, the London ones are the biggest ones in the UK that you can be invited to. So I think when I got the invitation to be a guest at a London convention, I think that was probably when I realised at that point. And for any aspiring cosplayers who want to see themselves in the position you're in now, sure. what advice would you give them? I think the best advice I'd give them is be persistent and try not to get too disheartened. Because, you know, starting out you will make a lot of mistakes, but it's okay to make mistakes. And, you know, try and use the mistakes that you're making as a learning opportunity rather than something that makes you disheartened. Because from any mistake you make, you know, when you make a mistake, there's less chance you'll make that same mistake again next time. So each mistake does give you a chance to improve. And I think if you look at it with that kind of mindset, you'll get there quite quickly. Awesome. Hello, I have been Darius the Nerd. This has been the Cosplay Chat. I'm very glad that you've watched it all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow my channel on all social media. The links are in the description. And don't forget, you can always find me on Instagram. You can find different stories about my cosplays.